you have questions on the tech committee, CJ then Blaine. Um, Collectate funds for balloons. Okay, I'm not gonna tell everybody to please silence their phones because y'all are doing that. Uh, call to order and introductions, we've already done that. I'd like to speak about field day. We had an excellent, fun time. Um, our score was good. We've got some preliminary numbers here. I was informed uh, that there's two I forgot, so our number will go up a little bit. But until I get back onto our application, it's probably only going to go up 200 points. Okay. Um, we were W5MEL, we were 3A. Um, all of our transmitters were 100 watts or less, so we got the two power, the two multiplier on all we did. Uh, we were out at the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics, and this is where I'm going to ask a favor of the club and kind of jump off and then come back. Um, Bill Underwood is our contact there. He's retiring around June or July of next year, so we're good for <coughs> School of Science and Math for next year's field day but we have no field day locations for 25 and beyond. So we need to start looking now so that we can discuss it and find out what would work best for the club. Um, I offered my property, but I live out in the middle of nowhere, but I've got five empty acres and I've got a shop we can work out at that has power and air conditioning and stuff like that. Doesn't have a facility, doesn't have a port john but that's easy to rent one. But I also live way, a ways out of town. From here, I'm about 42 miles oh. to my house. Mm. I live on the south side of Blanchard over towards Dibble or Ellick, if you guys have heard of those two time-wasting spots on the highway. <laughs> um, so anyway, that's where I live. So that's always a last option if we can't find something more centrally located. So I'd like everybody to begin now looking for places that could potentially be field day, not next year, the one after that. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, if if you don't mind, or somebody, if I go scouting, it, could you like put out a deal that says, you know, it'd be nice to have parking for 20 cars, electricity, porta potty, two acres. A I list mean, of what, requirements. Yeah. Okay. Uh, that way, I, when I go scouting, I say, oh, well, there's no place to park. Forget that, or something like that. Okay, Bill. When you do the minutes, can you be sure that I'm assigned to do that task? Thank you, sir. Hot tub would be nice too. Look, my wife wants a pool, okay? And we're still arguing over that. Um, okay, to talk about field day itself, uh, OSSM, the Oklahoma School of Science and Mathematics, was working on the air conditioning system in the building. So we didn't have air conditioners in the big rooms that we were allowed to use. However, the air conditioners in the back of the building were working well, and Jeff Dye brought up some really big floor fans. And Steve Johnson brought a portable air conditioning unit that he vented into the window and stuff like that. The warmest that room ever got was 74 degrees. Wow. So even yeah. So even though Steve and Jeff are not here, uh, applause for them. Yeah. Uh, because between their fans and the other little fans that people brought and that air conditioning unit, we were comfortable. We had no. Yeah. Like we were bloody cold actually. No 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 whining no whining. <laughs> Mining. Next year, that, that, that's what took all his hair, all that whining. Just to operate outdoors. <laughs> Bring a sweater. Bring well, a and, sweater. And the, the CW trailer, Jeff and his, he has a group of three people that operated CW for us. Uh, you'll see in a minute the counts that they got. They also weren't there for about 10 hours. Okay, they went home and, and slept like older people do. Um, <laughs> So anyway, um, they still had a lot of good counts, but they had a self-sufficient trailer. Their trailer had a small air conditioning unit in it and their own power and everything else. Uh, worked out really well for them. So, um, I'd like to thank all the workers that came up and, and helped out. We started setting up, we were done in an hour and a half. That was everything and we were waiting on food and for the actual field day time to start for us. Uh, worked out really well. We began in 1801. Um, I'll let you read that. I'm not going to read that. Um, thanks to Terry for doing the go to station for and us. And that was virtually all on an invis antenna. And we actually had people sitting there. Um, there were eight operators, no, four operators, eight contacts, and one of them was a youth, which gave us extra points. So if you have grandkids or nieces or nephews that you can drag to one of these, please. 
Um, Terry coached it. They seemed really excited and, and they worked hard to get those contacts because it was it was a lot of traffic they were fighting through. Yep. Um, we were on generator power thanks to Hal for getting our generator going for us and the extra running around that everybody did to get the propane tanks and stuff. Um, worked out really well. The radios had to be on generator power for it to count as emergency power. All the rest of our equipment was on the house mains for, from the school, which is a lot. Okay, here's our first set of counts. 1,750 total contact points. There were 212 CWs, 75 phone, 188 digi, total of 475, and there were no dupes. None. Not so I was really surprised. At there that. were no what? No duplications. Oh, okay, good. Computer so, logging takes care of that. Yep. Um, <laughs> of note, the, the largest number I heard for other stations was a 24A, I think. I'd have to go back and look it up. Was that the Potomac Valley? It was Valley. back east. That's all I remember. W3 Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> yeah, it was 24A. Can you imagine setting up enough stations and radios to operate in a thousand foot circle? They went all the way through 1296. Yeah. <laughs> so um, anyway, so for contact points, we got 1,750. Um, top five for by section, um, top five by state. There were some Oklahoma contacts too, so ground propagation. Um, 454 in the United States, 9 in Canada, 1 Hawaii, 1 Japan, 1 Mexico. The band conditions suck. Well, I was going to be a little bit more polite, but yeah. <laughs> They were Hoovers, we'll put it that way. Um, <laughs> they made one six meter CW contact. One, and then they gave up um, because it was so bad, it was so bad. After midnight, uh, uh, 40 meters was pretty darn good. Yeah, and, and starting in the early morning hours, things got much better, but for most of Saturday, for essentially all of Saturday, it was really slim pickings. Um, I was operating max rig for a while, and I was making one contact every 10 or 15 minutes. I mean, it, you could hear parts and pieces, but there was so much noise, nothing was coming through really well. So, um, the miles is down there that you see. Okay, um, Asia, one for Japan, Oceania, one for Hawaii. Um, these are all the bonus points that we went for. Um, that total bonus points number is going to go up, I believe, by 200. Um, because there's two that I didn't put in. So I'll take care of that. So 13, uh, 1,515 on that one plus the 17 brings our total score to 3,265. Because there's 200 missing from there. Which is pretty good. I think we were at 26 something last year. So. ones that I, when I turned my log book in, I operated at home, but I said, uh, oh, Kappa, remember, will that account for that? Yes. Okay. If you send me a copy of your log, I can make sure it gets counted. A correction, that has got to be spelled out. There, there are computer matches, and it's got to be Oklahoma City Auto Pass Association. Right. Unfortunately. I think, I think that's what okay. it says Inc. on the log there. I mean, when you're, when you're... Is it incorporated? Putting it in. <laughs> yeah, we are. We're a... a C4, not for profit. Um, so if you can send me that, I'll add it to our logs and appreciate that. Yes, sir. Um, we would have had another 100 points. We invited County Commissioner Miles Davidson uh, to come down to the site. And he agreed to. He sent me an email and said, yeah, I'll be down there if I get back from Washington, D.C. in time. He got back at about midnight on Saturday, so obviously he was he was probably a no fit and fettle to come down and look at us. But uh, he did respond. He responded positively. So I think next year, the next we'll year try him again. Points. That would have given us our elected official. Um, so 
for those of you that weren't there for field day, please try to come out. If nothing else, just to sign the guest log and, and see what we're doing as a club. Okay, I, I think that would, we had 17 people there total. Our club membership is 83. So now granted this is summer and people are on vacation and stuff like that, but I, it's down from last year. We had over 25 last year. The year before that doesn't count. So if you go back two years before that, we were in the 40s before COVID. So <coughs> we're doing this number as far as our participation goes. And uh, remind everybody that if you're not an active contester, you are more than welcome to sit down at the goddess station and work any band, any country that will respond. As an extra class. So if you're a tech or a general, and I know we still have some of them in the club. <laughs> Even the extras that aren't actively Sorry, on the Lucia. radio. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. So Kids, there, and Lucia I, sat over there and operated for a while. So we have, you can walk up and use a radio. That's it. <clears throat> I know. That's, okay. how, that's what gave me the incentive back in the day to upgrade. Yep. I mean, I went to field day and, hey, there's a radio. Get on it. Yeah. And, we're, and we're tired. We want an elbow. Curl. Well, there was a lot of talking and discussing going on about different aspects of amateur radio. I showed somebody how to work FT8 and what the various things meant. Mm -hmm. um, so that was our educational exercise was FT8. Mm -hmm. Um, so if you were there and you have any suggestions on what to do or not there and have suggestions on what <coughs> might lead you to come or draw bait you to come in and participate email them to me I mean we won't make fun of them and we'll consider them because there's no such thing as a bad idea only those that aren't discussed so 